Hey guys, welcome back to BMW Blog and welcome to our YouTube channel and welcome to Lake Como. Today we're actually at Villa Urba, so we changed setting from Villa Desta to Villa Urba to see some very special BMW classic cars. And we have one right here behind us. This is the first BMW supercar. It's called the M1, as you might know. And to learn more about that car, about the project, I have here with me Alex Saramet. He's from BMW Romania, and he knows quite a bit about the car, about its history. So Alex, without any further ado, tell me about the history of the M1. It's something really special. It started the M okay. Legacy because it was the first proper design M car. Okay. M5 was uh, also in that era, but mm -hmm. this was the BMW okay. M stood for. This was the concept of what the founder, Johan Erpach, mm -hmm. was intended from the beginning. You know now that M stands for a car that is very balanced. You can drive it on the racetrack, but mm -hmm. it's also a good daily driver. Sure. At the beginning, the concept was completely different. M stands for motorsport. This is the first M car. BMW was racing the 3.0 CSL. Sure. In order to race it, it needed some transformation. Okay. The street car was around 70,000 Deutschmarks. Okay. The race car was 300,000. Because it wasn't designed from the beginning to be a race car, mm -hmm. it was more, much more expensive to race it. Okay. This car was designed from the beginning to be converted into a race car. Sure. And this is why street car was mm -hmm. around 100,000 Deutschmarks. Okay and the race car was only 150,000 Deutsche okay. So it was really easy to convert into a race car. Into a race car, okay. It's a Giugiaro design, but okay. the BMW Turbo was designed by Paul Brack. Okay. Uh, he was, for a brief stint, the chief designer for BMW. Okay. Because it's the only BMW supercar, and yeah. because it's the only BMW supercar with the uh, engine in the middle very mm -hmm. well balanced, you have some very unique design features, including the badges, they're in the back. Are, are in the back and there are two side patches uh -huh. and there are also a lot of very special features on the car. For example, to my knowledge, is the only street car that has written on the engine BMW Motorsport. Okay. Not BMW M, but BMW, BMW Motorsport. Motorsport with a handwritten font. It's a very beautiful mm -hmm. design. It's the only BMW, to my knowledge, that you can refill from both sides. Okay, let's take a look in the back also at the uh, BMW Badges. emblems because we will see something similar on the upcoming XM. A little bit different as far as the design of course but uh, apparently it's something that, that was imported from the M1 for sure. The other thing that I just learned actually yesterday by interviewing uh, Jochen Nerpach is that uh, the M1 name, so I asked why the M1 and he said because he was the first M car, exactly. so it was quite obvious. And then speaking of Jochen, I, from what I understand, he also had one of the two grey M1s ever made. Yes. And do you know where that car ended up? What I know is that uh, Jochen Nerpach left the company in 79. Okay. He was hired by the FIA, by the Federa Federación Internacional de Automobil, mm -hmm. to create a racing uh, series okay. that rival uh, Formula One. Mm -hmm. Back then it was a conflict be between Bernie Ecclestone that was managing Formula One sure. and uh, FIA. Okay. And then he was hired by uh, IMG. Okay. This is one of the biggest uh, sports management company in the world okay. to set up the franchise in Germany. Okay. And he had a brief stint in London, mm -hmm. working for them. And because he moved in London and he uh, somehow broke broke apart from yeah. motorsport, uh -huh. he sold his car as well. And now bad. he's that regretting a lot. This of course, season. that kind of would have been worth a lot of money because see, there are only two made. So most of them were made in orange and also black, right? And, and white. white. What's interesting? This was a car built for Group Five racing. Okay. But there were a lot of problems. BMW decided to build this car together with Lamborghini. Okay. Uh, because they said Lamborghini has the best expertise in building these special sure. limited edition cars. But in the end, Lamborghini went bankrupt. The car was in development together with March. Okay. Uh, March is an engineering company that was developing Formula One cars and Formula Two cars and many other things. So there were a lot of delays. Uh, a very interesting fact that uh, because Lamborghini was bankrupt and everything stopped, mm -hmm. there was an opportunity for BMW to buy Lamborghini. Okay. And he proposed to the uh, to the board okay. uh, uh, to buy Lamborghini, to buy Lamborghini in 77, 78. Okay. Imagine how the world would look like. Would have been with totally different than today. BMW Lamborghini car. Exactly. And as far as the specs on the car, what can you tell me about that? It's an inline six, almost 300 horsepower. Okay. Very Final nice. question for you, Alex. How much? does an M1 cost today? One in a good condition, it's around 700,000 euros okay. or even more. So Okay, so not very, very cheap. Do you recall how many cars were made? Almost 500. Wow. What is very interesting, so this is a car 
designed to be transformed for racing. Gotcha. It was used very famously for pro car. Okay. This is a series that uh, it cannot be repeated anymore in history. This is quite gotcha. unique. Um, so what BMW did, based on the relationship with the Formula One, sure. uh, they convinced the Formula One racing drivers that every Friday mm -hmm. before the race, yeah. in the race weekend, to race together with the best BMW drivers. Gotcha. So the best five Formula One drivers, drivers could uh, race in this. Very famously, Niki Lauda was so in love with the idea that yeah. he had Mal Marlboro as a sponsor. Okay. He organized his team and he raced every weekend and he won first pro car competition. Sure. Very cool. All right, Alex, well, thank you so much for the overview. A lot of interesting insight that I did not know actually either. So uh, once again, guys, this is the BMW M1, the first and only BMW supercar. Hopefully we will see another one in the future. It's quite spectacular, even, you know, so many decades later. And as always, thanks for watching. You know, we're here at Villa Derba with a fantastic car and we'll see you in the next one.